one will blow your minds. Hermanos, compañeros, in Santa Blanca, I thank you for your loyalty, and I love you if the shepherd loves his flock. Let's just make sure we are not actually... Yeah, we're actually going to be uh, passing through uh, Pokhara province a bit. We might actually do Pokhara instead, but I'm actually not convinced about that. Pokhara is a bit tricky. Ah, never mind. Let's just head for the intended destination. Of course, it's all these fucking mountain roads that we need to pass first. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Okay, so let's not drive off the mountain road. I have this feeling that driving off the mountain road would be very unhealthy towards our well-being. Our general well-being, that is. So we're going to head straight for the target. Let's get the hell out of Pukara before Bowman decides that's where we need to be. Bowman, we're in Pukara. You know that annoying DJ Perico on Santa Blanca Radio? The activity has narrowed the location of his main broadcasting station to Pukara, so Perico himself should be close. What do we want with him? We need you to use your unique charm to convince DJ Perico to broadcast a pack Atari speech. It's a move that'll both raise the rebels' profile and make the cartel look bad. Persuade change and influence, huh? No leads on Perico's 20? We're still looking, but we don't even know what he looks like. Forge for intel. Find him, use him. I'll let you know if we can narrow down the location of the... Alright. So, we don't really have a choice. Uh, we were going for something else, but it seems like we are now stuck in doing Bukhara province. Because, basically, Bowman detected we were there, and we... Yeah. Could have gone better. So we're gonna see if this village up here holds any intel, but it doesn't look like it. It actually looks like we might have to drive even further for most of the intel. In fact, since it's so much snow here, I think we are go going to call for reinforcements. Uh, I'm actually considering calling in Buck. To yeah, we're uh, we're gonna replace Pulse with Buck for this assignment uh, because there looks like to be a lot of snow and white and stuff like that. That and to be fair, Pulse doesn't really have the clothing to. Oh crap! Something just blew up. Let's just head for that thing and uh, oh, we're heading down the street then. Maybe it's just this mountain region. We'll see. If it turns out that it's more desert where we're going, then uh, I think we're gonna stick with uh, Pulse. But Buck is not that terrible when it comes to doing the shooting and stuff. So basically this is a ghost mode for me, this is a lot of driving, because, uh, well, like I stated earlier, I don't use fast travel. I don't even use it so you people have a better viewing experience. The reason I don't use fast travel is because if you don't use fast travel, you're more likely to end up in fights. So I'm basically using it as a method for this 
uh, playthrough to be more difficult for me. It also means that I need to be very wary about where there might be SAM sites, just in case there are helicopters, stuff like that. We are suspected because we did a poor job with pretty much everything here. Okay, so this looks like to be an SV base right down there. Let's head out. Buck is mounting a suppressor on his gun. Nice. We need to check out the area below and see what we can find about DJ Perico. Looks like there's a boat and a couple of Santa Blanca thugs around. That's a supply chopper. Let's hijack it. Ah, it's a rest. helicopter. I'm sure they'll make good use of it. Uh, one in the tower. I don't see anyone on the docks. But let's use the drone to see if there's a R. Yeah, we got feather. Target eliminated. Nice. Eyes on a cartel element near the helipad, see? Ah, uh, crap. They know. We opened fire far too soon. At least the sniper is gone, but um, there's a big risk these guys will try and uh, take it, that chopper away from now. We'll use another sink shot to clear out the heavies. I'm getting a position. I need to get to a better position. Ready? Fuck, they're heading this way. Target marked. Say the word, boss. Fire. Holding fire on these shitheads. Their LT's escaping. Two down. Let's infiltrate through the water. Let's just hope these guys can provide some cover fire for me. Oh crap, someone's in the someone just drew a l car into the lake. Careful. Light panels are out. Come on, I didn't hit the guy. You keep telling me that was not a hit. I don't believe that for a second. Tango down. Let's grab whatever we're clear over here. ammunition supplies we can find around here and go. Also, we're switching out our weapon. This weapon is fucking useless. Let's switch for, for the G28 for the time being. In case we need the increased accuracy. I found some stuff that mentions the cartel built DJ Perico a house in a village called Todos Santos. Let's see if he's there. Alright, the house is actually not far off. Uh, so we are gonna grab a marker for it. Uh, sadly, it doesn't seem like we can take a boat there. Uh, we'll have to grab a car or some kind of other vehicle. Let's roll. Riding a bike in the Ghost Recon Wildlands uh, is usually a tricky thing. Especially if we're talking about uh, a place where you might actually just... Yeah, I see them. We need to stay very clear of them. Let's kill the lights and go by night vision only. We actually had our former car right there. We, I should have picked it up. 
I mean, going by car, especially if you're bad at driving, is usually a far better way to do stuff than... Ah, crap. I was kind of worried that we would have to uh, pass through the hydro dam, but thankfully we do not need to do that. Almost there. Still very dark here. We're making the most of the night. Let's swing it up here and... Uh, Abandon our vehicle right up here at the checkpoint. Rally up on me. Watch out for the trains. Grabbing the supplies. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can pay us back later. They never will. They can't afford the prices. Wounded that bird on patrol. Watch out. Roger that. I see it. We got Tango's danger close. Attach a suppressor to the HK. Keep an eye out, eye out for the cartel. They should be below us. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. They're the god. Clear. How we doing? There might be some intel around here. Yeah, there might. We're heading up to the Kingslayer files and have a look at it. Switch to sidearm and fire at will. Let's check this thing first, then we'll head for DJ Perico's home. Alright. Let's check out what we can find out from his home. It's about 250 meters away. It's also... Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. Also looks like we have some kind of Santa Blanca outpost to our left. There's a guard tower up ahead. I think we should try and sneak up on that one. Once we sneak up on it. There's a Sicario over here, but the stack of tires. Roger that. But we'll take out the guy in the tower if there are any first. If we have to engage, this guy is gonna be our biggest trouble. Let's say we're hi good, to your good. friends. Yeah, we are good. Sending out the drone. Got another tango. Looks like he got a bunch of fans in front of his villa. Baby makes three. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. All right, we'll try and do this quietly, but uh, we should try and reach the place via the flanks. Cartel is usually piss poor at managing their flank security, so. Yeah, confirmed. They're still piss poor at doing this. Perico, 
Three going here. Scour up any kind of intel you can. Fuck. They got us. Get the hell out of there. This is not good. This is very, very horrible. Very horrible indeed. Fall back and crap. I fucked up. Where's the tower? There's the tower. Good. We'll get up, get up in the tower and use it to engage the enemy. God damn it. Why did I have to fuck up? Tango down. Tango down. Oh, there's a heavy gun position right ahead. Tango down. I can't see where the fire is coming from. God damn it. Why do I have to be so sloppy? At least Ash is covering my six. Ah, oh, wait, there. I have. Enemy down. Frag out. Frag out. The gen is going. Nice. They got no juice. They're down. Keep it moving. Same place. Move in. Grab, let's grab whatever intel we can from here. Can go down. All right. Clear it. Schematics of some kind. Go. Fractal antenna, maybe. If Perico's using that fractal antenna to broadcast, that drawing might help the activity get a beat on his location. Let's switch our loadout to the MP5. Well, there is major intel close by, so we might as well grab as much of it as we can. There's also a helicopter in our base here. I think we might actually try and grab the helicopter. The helicopter is this way. Lots of vehicles made already, readily available to the guy. I would have hoped that I would have been able to do the entire thing quietly, but it looks like I completely failed in that regard. I blame Buck. Buck is new to the team, so obviously it's his fault. Those old silver mines the Spanish started. Slaves mined those for centuries. I heard these silver mines have folk altars in there. Miners had to leave coca and tobacco for El Tio when they were working. I can see why it wasn't hard for Santa Morty to find a home here. I see a second target. Sniper down. I can't just leave them here. Let's just hope they don't cause any too much chaos. In fact, I hope they just escape and not just tango down and not cause any big trouble. All right, good morning, Bolivia. Sniper out there. He's down. We're still good. 
Yeah, I see another guy right up there. I'm spotting another tango. Got another tango. Ah, oh, crap. They saw. Yeah, they found the guy. Nothing solid, but I found Perico's former bodyguard, Arturo Ruiz. He now works for the cartel at Pilka, some kind of mine. Seems like there's some bad blood between the two, so we might give up the DJ. Alright, let's head back to the helicopter. Be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? We get the fuck out of here, that's what we do. We have what we came for. Alright, so the guy is... DJ Perico's former bodyguard now works at Pilka Mine. Track him down and go. see what he can tell us about his old boss. That's what we'll do. The rebels are attacking. Alright. All aboard. We'll head towards the silver mine and see what we can find there. Let's watch out from... Um, watch out so we don't get engaged by enemy Sam Cyber. We don't know exactly where enemy stamps are situated, but we need to be aware that this region has some of them. We'll stay low over the mountains here and just pretend to be on just another Santa Blanca bird. Got a visual on the target. This is not really a good place to put put down a chopper, but we'll try. Oh crap, the chopper is rolling. Let's try not to fall down, okay? So we got cartel in the area, that's not a surprise. Let's deploy the drone and see what we can find. Sniper purchase clear. Looks like the shift of the day hasn't really arrived yet. Former bodyguard. Let's talk to him. Sniper in the tower. Here's target number five. Oh wait, there's a sniper, sniper there. Top of the tower. We'll head down to the train tracks through this rift and see what we can do about it all. I got a narco over here. Point him out. Close to the camp entrance. Watch out. Find a good position. Incoming train, stay away from the tracks. I've got the target. Ready to engage. We'll use the train and shooting. ID your targets, people. We know Perico's ex bodyguard Ruiz is working at this mine, and we need him alive for questioning. You missed. That was close. Prevent any alarms from being triggered. We can't let Yeah, we're good. There's one heavy left in that building. Alarm. It's gone. Let's get up there. Yeah, I see the gap. He's down. Spotting another tango. Okay, we're cool. Yeah, we killed so far. I see the gap. Tango down. Okay, we're still alright. Got it. Let's talk to the guy. If anyone can get the truth out of him, 
Kevera will be the person to do it. Yeah, I see him. He's bringing up to the chopper pad. You are Turo Ruiz, DJ Perico's former bodyguard. Perico? Man, fuck that guy. That pinche puto shot my dog. He shot your friend. No, man, he shot my dog, mi perro. Little Paloma never did nothing to no one. Perico killed your pet? Yeah. What for? Hijo de su reputa madre, Perico was trying to smoke weed out of an AR-15. Fucking thing went off and got Paloma. Still have nightmares about that. Wake up with the shakes and shit. You want to get back at Perico? Give me his real name. A photo, too. Man... Perico's real name is Marco Garcia. I don't have no photo, but I hope you can... Sorry for interrupting the sequence, but... Uh, Cav is actually looking stellar in this, so... Kill that motherfucker. Pinchy coming on. All right, we got all the info we need. We went through all that, and all we got was a name as common as Marco Garcia. Uh, the activity will work through magic. Send them the name, and maybe they can zap us back a picture so we can ID the asshole. All right, looks like this is still arid conditions, so sorry, Buck, but we'll change you back for pulse. All aboard. I'm on, let's go. Fermite, get on board. Thank you. Okay, so we have major intel close by, we might as well check it out. Oh, I remember this place. I used to put down uh, PvE players on the crane here. It was kind of fun to do. Let's drop off the helicopter right here, and we should be good to go. Enemy marked. Yeah, at least tango. two Target in the bunker. Orders. They're all yours. Target marked. Tango number three. Enemy no spotted. target. Repeat, no target. These mausoleums look cute in comparison to the others. SB builds them for their Bruchonis. I've got a healthy enough ego to say I want something like this when I die. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who'd need something like this. Come on, get into range. Ghosts, I need you on that bunker. Target acquired. Standing by. Good. Target lost. I got another. That's Lots of tangos here. I'm not sure we are gonna be able to make this quietly. But we're gonna fight our way to that helicopter. But I'm gonna need my entire team for sync shots if we're doing this. And right now they don't seem to be that very cooperative. Okay, we're still good. Got him. Rally on me. Rally on me, I don't want to do this alone. Oh, crap, that guy needs to die now. That was fucking close. Yeah, I can see a group of tangos. Check tangos left, check tangos right. Tangos down. Watch, we're cool, we're cool. Yeah, it looks like we're clear. Good show, people. 
found a receipt for the construction of a sound booth. That has to be for Perico's radio station. Let's check out the address. We can do that. Let's grab the supplies. There's still a helicopter up. And we have plenty of ammunition, so let's just go for it. Is up here. Rainbow copies all. Uh, let's see, we actually need to go to this place for that. We've got a possible location on DJ Perico's radio station. Go check it out. Okay, so we actually need to go that way for it. Let's stay low. kilometers away keep an eye out on that ground radar I don't want to run into any Sam's right now oh crap we got Sam's six o'clock Sam's three o'clock and stay low Sam's five o'clock I can see the village. I'm gonna try and set the bird down on top of it. I'll make the full pass around and set down on that now we slope right above the thing. Ah, looks like we could have used Buck for this anyone, anyhow. Actually, let's set her down on this heli helicopter pad. Like we're some kind of... Oh, crap. Opening fire. They didn't like that, and apparently we were not supposed to be detected. So apparently we'll have to do that all over again. And of course, the loading times, despite being on an SSD for the same emission. No, I don't want to do Operation Archangel, but thanks anyway. Okay, so the drone is jammed. The drone. And of course, we got place down on the opposite place of where I wanted to be. Now the thing about not being detected is that you can Eyes shoot people, in the area. Uh, but you're not supposed to actually be detected while shooting people. So we're gonna see about that fella. Oh wait, that's not really a guy that's actually alive. He's down. We're good, we're good. I just remember that I hate this mission, by the way. Uh, I seem to have completely forgot it. The drone's fucked yeah, up. I see the jammer. 
And since we need to stay very quiet indeed, we need to shut down the jammer. Manually, I might add. Shutting down a manor jammer manually is not, never a fun thing to do, but hey, we managed to do it. Let's sneak into this crevasse here and launch the drone. At least now they think that... Yo, two cartel gunmen, close to that stack of tires. Yeah, let's see if we can't actually do this with the drone instead. Now, they are very, very adamant that we have to do this in person. I got eyes on a bunch of Sicarios. I don't really get why we have to do this without being detected. We're looking for some insight into his uh, activities and his identity. I mean, none of that is intel that they can destroy in such a short notice. Ah, uh, we got him. Right got at the, the end there. there. Next to the turret. Yeah, I see him next to the turret. Come Stay from. out of sight. He's We're down. Closing in on the radio station. Let's see if Perico's on the job. He's not. We've already checked the place with a drone. This place is empty. Maybe he ran. Maybe somebody we talked to tipped him off. But he's still broadcasting. Bowman, we're at the station. Perico isn't here, but there's still a broadcast coming through. He's using that station as a relay to boost his signal, and we can't hack in without the encryption key. Use the drone to scan his antennas. Sicken can take incoming data, and we can try to trace his location by triangulating the incoming signal's strength. Roger that. There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. All I understood from that phone call with Bowman was scan the antenna. We just have to keep the drone still till the scanning's done. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, we're scanning the target. Scan complete. Scan complete. Just hope Sigan can trace Perico's location. Let's get back down. I got a Sicario with a submachine gun. Tell me where- Good news. Thanks to those schematics you found and the scan you took, we've confirmed that Perico's using a basic frequency agility program to encrypt the signal to his relay. But to hijack the signal for Pakatari's broadcast, we still need the encryption key. Right. We've got enough data to get you to the area of Perico's location. You need to pay him an unfriendly visit and get his encryption key. Bowman sending through background on DJ Perico. DJ Perico, the parrot. His dream in life was to be a mixtape DJ, which essentially means yelling over someone else's song and then charging people for it. DJ Perico! Fortunately for the music industry, life got in the way. Corner boy at age 13, crack charge at 14, attempted murder at 15. Rather than do a bit in a gladiator academy, he fled to Mexico. He had a cousin in Santa Blanca, got a job as a Sicario, a hitman. However, if Santa Blanca had run his sheet, they'd have seen he'd only attempted murder. Another way of saying he was a fuck-up. Like he missed two guys in the front seat of a Wrangler. I mean, how hard is that? It was only a matter of time before he annoyed the shit out of every single member of the cartel and got his corpse thrown back across the border. Except, El Sueño took a liking to him. Perico amused him. He can't shoot a gun, but he can shoot his mouth off. So... Good morning, Bolivia! That's when you found a role for him. Pirate radio. Propaganda. Spread the good word about the coming of Santa Blanca. It's a beautiful day for cocaine! But hey, what day isn't? A special shout out to my boys in Pucara province, building El Sueño's final finca. But let's not be in too big a hurry, okay boys? DJ Perico is El Sueño's pet. Let's give him something new to parrot. That we can do. Alright, there's an ammo box here. We might as well pick up this 416 again. We'll increase squad resilience some more. Nomad, my people have 
discovered a vehicle dispatch for a truck bringing valuable replicas to El Sueño's mausoleum. I know it's not your main task, but it's an opportunity to win your Sueño's pride. Check. If we get the chance, we'll take out the convoy before it reaches Sueño's personal shrine. That sounds like fun. The only problem is... Oh, crap. Someone heard that. Let's grab the weapons. Okay, Pakara, Pakara. I know we're here. Be careful. Shot to the face. They're coming right for us. He's down. Okay, so we can do one of two things. We can either locate DJ Perico and try and get the stoner LMG. We can also try and get the SMG-11. Uh, or we can try and intercept uh, El Suena's convoy. Either way, we might so need a helicopter for the job. But we are currently running in the wrong direction. Let's disengage first and head to a car. Let's clean up and move on. They got reinforcements. Uh, copy on reinforcements. Like froggy. Good. They went the other way. Let's grab that car and get moving. You guys all good? Damn, I love this job. Out of the car now. Don't make this harder than it has Looks to like be. Looks like we've riled them up. Buckle up, people. Actual information is asked to contact Nidia La Reina Flores. All right, let's let's see if we can grab a helicopter someplace. Uh, I don't think we actually can do that. Uh, but let's set the location El for. El is sending a convoy loaded with personal items to decorate his private mausoleum. Yep, you heard that right. Intercept and destroy those trucks. Yeah, we'll get the the mausoleum first. We'll just, we'll get it done somehow. Preferably, we should have an attack helicopter or something like that for its use, but... Alright, so keep an eye out for chopper pads, so that... Uh, we can use those to uh, get closer to where the trucks are. Right now, those trucks is going to, is uh, quite a juicy target, but it, I mean they're all across the province, five kilometers at least. Uh, we can we can only hope that Toro Santos have a helicopter we can use, preferably an armed one. So let's set our course for the town instead. Uh, we actually managed to avoid driving all across uh, the dam, but we are fine with that. There's a helicopter uh, over the city right now, most likely Unidad. Or a cartel convoy escort. Either way, it might mean trouble. I would rather want to steal that. Yeah, that looks like convoy escort to me. Running Toto Santos snap. Yeah, there's a helicopter right up the street here. Close to the Kingslayer file. Everyone out. We're grabbing that chopper for ourselves. And fuck anyone who tries to intervene. Of course it's 
This is, looks to be an armed helicopter. Oh wait, it is. It has guns. I'll pilot. We'll take the long way around and maybe pick up that SMG on the way. If we pick up that SMG, we are in a better position. Let's see about la just landing on the roof and grabbing the gun. Yeah, we can we can do that. We're clear. We're suspected, but clear. Ah, crap. Weapons case must be below. Either that or it didn't spawn in yet. Ah, there it is. Nice. I've been wanting one of these. Yeah, so have I actually. Let's switch the, our sidearm to the SMG-11 and parts. Yeah, folded, full auto, standard, standard, standard. Let's see what paint pieces we can get that actually looks... Yeah, we'll just give it a bit of a bl blackish paint scheme hey, to go America, with Cavera. And of course, tagging some supplies. And then we'll grab the helicopter and go. So far, so good. Up we go. All right, the trucks are up ahead, and we'll see about if uh, using an airborne assault is sufficient, or if we have to, uh, or if we have to uh, drop down. And actually, I think that an airborne assault might be sufficient. Stand by to engage. We'll need to take out the tower first. Check if there's a sniper there. If it is, we'll take him out first. Bad guy's getting strapped. Must have heard the shot. Fuck. Engaging. Watch your step. These guys know something's up. Engaging the fuel tanks. Oh crap, there's a there's a heavy weapon there. Heavy weapon has been engaged, heavy weapon is down. Another heavy weapon. It's a machine gunner. Keep up the fire, boys. He's heading for the heavy weapon. Can't allow that. There are rebels in a cage close by. Let's... Rebels, you're clear to engage. We're providing cover ring fire for the rebels. Most of the trucks have been destroyed. That's all the trucks. Nice. Target destroyed. I guess Swenyo can still have a mausoleum without all that stuff, right? Sure, but without the bling, it'll just be a bigger casket. I can see a SAM site just up ahead. We'll fly below it. Place we're going, we don't really want. 
cause undue concern amongst the locals. Let's, I don't think we can do this. I think this is a fucking stupid thing to do, but we'll, we'll see if we can. Let's just set down the thing right here and disengage. Come on, let's go. We've got a location on Perico. Get that little fucker and make him give up his encryption key. We're gonna turn Buchon Radio into Radio Free Bolivia. Oh, Roger that, Bowen. We'll get it done. Of course, it's going to be hell to pay getting in here. It's a construction site for one of Suenio's prestige projects. Got a tango. One down. Another down. Third guy down. We got it. Let's grab whatever's on here. The Mausoleum of Holy Carnassus seems to be what inspires Mr. Sueno on this particular note. Look at this shit. I've seen a mausoleum or two in my time. This one could eat those for breakfast and not even notice when it shit them out. We supposed to think Sueno's a god? He sure as hell does. <sighs> All right. Let's use our drone and try and scout the nearby area. Perico's gotta be close. Remember, people, we need him alive. Let's walk along the coast. Or rather the the wall here. Doesn't seem to be that much enemy activity up here. I don't even see that many alarms. Wait, there's one. Over here. It's gone. Shut the damn alarm off. <laughs> I think we got it's our targets. Actually, that is also a very nice Cavera picture. I think we're gonna keep that one. Words, DJ? Hey, 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 look at me. Do I look like a Sicario to you? You don't have to kill me, man. Oh, yeah? Why's that? <laughs> I still got my whole life to live, man. I got dreams to fulfill and shit. Just... Sorry for interrupting the sequence, but he this is just too good. Give us the encryption key to the station's master control. All right, all right, man. Just you didn't get it from me, okay? When prompted for a username, type in B I D I B O M, Bidi Bam. Then enter the numbers generated on this token. Savor this moment, Perico. This is the day you almost died. This is the day I spared you. Uh, oh, okay. See, I know you can just change this encryption key, but in exchange for not killing you, you are going to keep broadcasting, and you are going to wait to change that password until my associate, Pakatari, makes his broadcast. You got it? Yeah, yeah, man. Ah, oh, that felt good. Bowman, we've got the encryption key, but I'm not sure we're up for hacking the signal. I know you're not techies. The Rebels gave us the location of one of their comms guys. You have to break him out of a Santa Blanca jail, but we need his expertise. We can't spare a comms guy who isn't locked up? And neither can I. Extract him to an RP, and I'll get him the gear he needs to cut into that broadcast for Pakatari. Roger that. Okay, now we need to be very careful. There are tons of SAM sites here. One of them is just below us. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No! No! Please, God, no! No! Everyone out. Oh god, no. I can't believe we actually made it. Why am I still alive? Also, that fucking Sam site is gonna pay the price. I can't believe how fucking lucky I was there. In case you've forgotten, Permadef is on and I have not forgotten it. So, here's my revenge to you fucking Sam site. Got the C4 primed. This is gonna be a long walk, brothers. Maybe my old chopper is still up there somewhere. Well, it could be worse. We could have uh, raised the alarm with 
and have tons of cartel on our backs. I should have fought that through and I didn't. Let's just ch check if, uh, yeah, my old choppers should actually still be there, so we'll head up there and uh, have a look. Yeah, I can, actually, I can actually see the helicopter right now. But we are pretty much on our own here. I am not convinced we can scale that wall. And if we can't scale that wall, we'll need to be very gentle going and go down to the road down there. I think that has to be our option for today. God damn it. I was trying to do a shortcut and of course that didn't work. Pakatari's radio engineer is being held prisoner at the Oliko Dam. We need to bust this guy out so he can help us hack Kariko's broadcasting system. Copy that. I wonder if there's some sort of heavy vehicle here around that we can use. Because that would actually help a lot. Oh, another SAM site. We're blowing it up. I have a uh, grudge against SAM sites now. Also a train. Nice. Sadly we can't hijack the train or that would be fun. It would be fun if we could reprogram SAM sites. I mean, like a rebel activity, just reprogram them so they fire at Santa Blanca instead. And then you lure the fucking Santa Blanca helicopters into the line of fire of the SAMs. Of course, that would make the game easy, but... <laughs> it beats having to destroy SAM sites, it basically respawns the next second anyway. I mean, Yo, there's, we got there's literally no point in taking them out. It would be much more fun if uh, you could destroy the sand sites. And I mean, not just destroy them, but actually destroy them for real. Keep an eye out for trains. We don't want to get hit by one. Should be there okay there are some horrible stories about what happens if you get hit by a train. Surprisingly, many stories about people getting hit by trains, I might add. It's like people have nothing better to do but get hit by trains and get out. We need the car. Get moving for my is undeniable. Support your local Santa Blanca affiliates. Santa Blanca is Bolivia's partner in bringing our traditions into the future. Almost there. Well, we could grab another helicopter for the ride. But I think we're gonna skip that, actually. As far as I remember, the next mission is not one we want to go loud in. Not that I think we might have that much choice. Ah, crap. Alright, target's up ahead. And we need to do this by the numbers. I wish it was raining like that, like this where I live. It did this morning and all it did was get get the weather hot and sticky. We got a mounted weapon. He's down. And of course there were more than- oh crap, there's someone behind us. Where the fuck is the guy Oh wait, there they are. That's you, the dad. Crap. 
They're down. I'm not sure I want to press this attack, but at this point in time, let's just try it. We have uh, vehicles up the road. We might as well try one of them. Grenade, watch out! We're also running very low on ammunition. All right, we are actually clear right now. The enemy is bombarding the area with a mortar, but they have no idea where we are. Sorry, but we need to take this chance. If they think we are still just here... Ah, crap! All units disengage. It's gone. Alright, so there's faction warfare going on. Unit Ad versus Cartel. Let's get up in that tower and... Uh, ah, crap. Enemy mortars. We need to silence those mortars the first thing we do. So, actually, let us grab an M40. And head up to the tower. I got eyes on the guy. Watch also, out. the alarm. Got some light panels here. All right, priority target is the alarm. That was the last alarm. They won't the be alarm is gone. From the air, at least. Drone is Stay hidden and use the drone to s scout the area for more tangos. I have the mortar. Counter fire. Got another tango. Hopefully they'll think that was a Unidad mortar. I'm spotting another tango. I'm not very good at this kind of long-range sniping. It, uh, mostly because it goes against pretty much everything I've learned that 300 meters is enough to cause that kind of bullet drop. I mean, that kind of drastic bullet drop is not present at 300 meters. Got that, you need that. I don't see that we have much choice but to go right now. Uh, let's just grab his R5 and go. We have enough ammunition for the task. But we are gonna get smashed from both sides if we stay. And there's no point in us in going silent either for that matter. Hit the deck. Find some cover fast. They're down. Grenade, move, move, move. Grenade, grenade. Moving. God damn it. Grenade, watch out. Watching out. Engage, engage, engage. Okay, there's there's a lot of rebels here. Uh, let's see about putting more. 
This is a lot of trouble for a rebel comms guy. Chalk it up as a favor to the rebels. We can always use their good graces. Let's just make sure this prisoner is in one piece. We lost the uh, unidad. Good. Let's get the rebels out there and fighting. Let's grab that guy. I didn't know they had a dam out here. Yeah, the locals use it for irrigation. Seems like overkill. I reckon somebody was optimistic about agriculture in Bolivia. Who the hell are you? Our mutual friend Pakatari sent us. Está bueno. Let's go. I could have sworn there was a car here, but never mind. Let's take this one instead. All aboard. Pakatari is my señor comandante. But I did not think he would call upon Americans just to rescue little me. You have some technical expertise that's pertinent to our current mission. We're gonna hijack DJ Perico's radio signal. No mierda. My wife loves that guy's show. I keep telling her, hey, he's the enemy, caray. She's like, but he's so funny. I can never win with him. Oh, but we'll listen to him. We're almost there. There has been some really close calls here, but we managed to get it out all right. I mean, that thing with the helicopter really freaked me out. Christ Almighty! We're almost there. With a few of these horrible mountain pass roads to go. It would not be fun if we right now just went over the edge. Not fun at all. Then again, my driving is usually considered very fun, so... Fun as in, if you think it's fun dying. It's like I can... I barely see where the fuck the road is anyway. Well, that is indeed that. Let's put it down and extract the gap. Kumpa, thank you again. This broadcast could be a greater victory than any of us realize. Or it could change nothing. Carajo, don't worry. I will get it done and then we shall see. Adios, pues. Stay tuned to Santa Blanca Radio. If all goes to plan, you'll hear Pakatari's speech before you know it. Hua. Mission accomplished. We're hearing Pakatari's broadcast all over the country. DJ Perico is already a fool, but now Sueño looks like one too. How do you measure the reactions we get anyway? When they're not busy taking selfies. My social media team monitors online trends. Hashtag DJ Perico is already getting the funniest gifts. Bowman out. Our rebel tech is getting cozy with Bowman. This is a lot of shit to go through just so Pat can give a speech on the radio. I suspect Bowman wants the rebels to feel like this is their op. Shit, they're the ones getting credit for it anyway. Let's keep moving. Let's go to the cartel overview and see what Since his rise to power, El Sueño has been responsible for more than 7,000 murders, 12,000 kidnappings, and 17,000 disappearances. So then how the fuck is he one of the most loved people on the goddamn internet? I mean, 
this piece of shit has more likes than the World Cancer Society. How does that even happen? Well, one reason would be Ramon Feliz, Santa Blanca narco blogger. Feliz wasn't always like this. He used to be a real journalist, working the crime beat for a Mexican newspaper. He wrote about the cartels. Until the cartels started targeting journalists. Forced to choose between reporting the news and their employees, the newspapers made a hard decision. They stopped reporting on the cartels. So Ramon Feliz went underground. With anonymity on his side, he started a blog, and he went after Santa Blanca. Hard. Maybe too hard. Sueño hired hackers from a number of top universities and had them track down Feliz. Things only went downhill from there. Nowadays, Ramon Feliz no longer writes about Santa Blanca. Ramon Feliz writes for Santa Blanca. Sounds simple enough. Grab everything you can from him. He's bound to have plenty of dirt on the cartel. He lives in Santa Elena. I'll zap you the address. Roger that. Nomad out. I think we'll wait with that one. And we'll not do that right now. Uh, I've been on long enough. We'll start the next stream with... Uh, uh, getting his ass out of the fire. Catch you guys later. Thanks and bye.